your girl Miss Lee here. Good morning, good afternoon or good night depending on where you are. If you haven't done so already, as usual, please can you subscribe to my channel? That would be much appreciated. And at the end, if you care, please share and also like, hit that notification bell. Okay, so I'm going to go straight into it today. I've had a little break because your girl needs time to, you know, get her thoughts together-ish. But anyway, so I'm back, okay? Um, during that time, I even had a date. <laughs> I'll tell you about that afterwards. Afterwards, But anyway, 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 anyway. That's another video. Um, since my last video, I did a get ready with me. I've had comments and other people messaging me saying, girl, your skin looked real good in that video. Like, really? Like, your skin looks really good. Now, those who know me, know. The journey to get my skin without the makeup, the journey to get my skin to the point where it is now, oh, honey, the road has been long. It has been an uphill, an uphill climb, struggle. You get me? But I reached the top. There, made it. Yep. Oh, I'm knocking my plant. You know, I'm going to, like, do you like my plant? It's it's a new kind of feature in my videos. It all depends on where I'm shooting from. But my mummy gave it to me. It reminds me of, like, a bush. But I like it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, I've had people comment in saying, oh, you know, I like your, I like your, your skin. It looks glowing, etc. And I thought, do you know what? Let me share my story. Because it's not only been a long road. It has been an emotional one as well. And it's something that a lot of people, especially as adults, go through. And yeah, I just think that it would be nice for everybody to, to hear my story. And especially if you can identify, you may get tips and things that will help you if you are struggling how I struggled. So, you know, I like a drink. But, um, oh, that's good. I had... Uh, started to experience something called adult acne. It came out of the blue. I used to have acne as a child, but not really bad. It wasn't like, oh my God, look at that girl with the zits all over her face. That wasn't me. Mm -mm. But I did have one or two spots, as children do during your puberty and stuff like that. I got that, you know, when I was on my period, like, like they this came out and started fighting my face, you know, but I lived with it. It wasn't crazy. As I said, I didn't look crazy. After I had kids and everything, I um, developed this, I started getting loads of spots and they started coming down, like from my cheek, down my um, face, down onto my neck a little bit. Now, let me stop here. I really tried, like I knew I wanted to do this video when people were commenting on my skin because it has been a journey. And I try to salvage, like I've gone through old phones, I've locked myself out because I can't remember the pin to get in. Um, I have I have trailed through emails to see if I've emailed myself my journey because I did take pictures because I wanted to see my journey. Um, and I just can't find anything. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Those who know, know. But it's the truth. Um, I have some footage, which you'll see. So you can see there was a problem, but that as I, that the, these footage was as I started my medication. So um, yeah, I, I did start at some point. At one point, I think I said this in this in another video. I started to lighten my skin. Yeah, what? Um, it's not that I didn't love myself or whatever, but what happened is um, these spots started coming thick and fast, and they were scarring. They were they were um, scarring as dark marks in my face. And I hated it. And one of my girlfriends was like, do you know what, um, try this particular cream. And I was like, girl, I'm not, I'm not bleaching my skin. And left it as that, literally left it as that, didn't go back, um, didn't look back. And then later on down the line, um, I was talking to someone and I was like, do you know what? I'm thinking of maybe using a particular cream because I think it's going to help my skin. Another girlfriend of mine and, you know, she was like, do you know what? It may because I know people who it's helped and whatever. And this is not to bleach your skin. This was just to get rid of the dark pigmentation. Anyway, your girl started getting light skin. 
and I did like what I saw. What it did uh, though, it dried the spots out quickly. I'm not even going to tell you what creams I used, but then they came back even thicker and faster and they scarred really bad, even worse. And I think it's because I had such a high yellow tone and it just scarred even worse. So enough was enough at this point. And then, sorry, let me go back. I went, like, I travelled a lot, especially back then. I was going to Jamaica, like, every other day, like, <laughs> joking. But, you know, I was travelling a, a lot. And every time I travelled, I noticed as soon as I put, like, the water... In here in the UK, the water is very hard. It's horrible. And you don't realise until you go abroad and then, you you know, you, you use that water and your skin is soft. Like, you don't even really have the lotion. And I mean, I still lotion, but it's not as much. You, my skin doesn't dry out. Anyway, my spots would always disappear within three days or so. And the scar was always manageable it wasn't that bad and I never got no spots whilst I was away and it's always when I came back the spots just came I mean I was gonna actually move to damn Jamaica I can't take this no more I've been going to my doctor and they've been giving me little creams I got loads of I went through loads of I'm sure I was like their test case they gave me little creams like and this was another one they gave me like I found it in that like, my cream box it's called Tresselin Trek, Trexlin, Treslin. I don't know if you guys can, um, that's what it's called. And, um, yeah, it did nothing. I don't even know why I still got it. It did nothing, absolutely nothing. I want to be referred to the dermatologist. There's no way I'm going to continue to go through this and you're going to keep giving me these medications that are not working. Anyway, cut a long story short, I got my appointment and I saw the dermatologist. Now, what I didn't know, I just thought they would put me on a course of like medication like antibiotics kind of thing and it'll be gone within a week or so what i was quite pleasantly or unpleasantly surprised to find out this was not a quick fix this was at least a minimum of a six month treatment yep you heard me right ladies and gentlemen six months so i was put on the medication called i have to always look at it right so it's called isotrechonine isotrechonine Trekolin, trek it right so guys i don't know i keep knocking my bush right so guys i don't know if you've noticed i've had braces on the bottom of my teeth my top ones are coming on next month so look out for that video because i'm gonna give you a full rundown about that too but i can't speak at the moment it's like it's affecting my my i've got a lisp going on i'm dribbling everywhere i mean what that i mean this has got to be i've got to be doing this for another 12 months anyway this is what I was on. <laughs> that. See it there? Yeah. I'll put it across the screen. But um, I was on the medication for... Lord, it's hot in here as well. Jeez. Anyway, I was put on isotrechonin. Isotrechonin. Loin. Anyway, you know, guys, you know. I was put on that medication. And before I went on it, they had to do blood tests. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I'll do it anyway. Um, they had to check my uh, liver. Um, I had to keep having pregnancy tests. Your weight, uh, your height, because obviously depending on that will determine on the dosage that they give you. And you can't be pregnant with this medication, like a lot of medications, but this one, you can't be pregnant and you can't get pregnant. So every time you have to continue to go back to the hospitals only the hospital here in the uk that could um prescribe this medication and you can only get it from the hospital pharmacy you cannot go to any normal pharmacy to get this so every time i went they kept giving me a pregnancy test and i was like girl honestly like it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> ain't no babies here but um, yeah, apparently it's really, really harmful for the baby, for your unborn baby, if you are on this medication and you fall pregnant. Uh, apparently it's probably like a, a very high, like a 90% chance of the baby being brain damaged instantly because of the medication. And they also check, they do blood tests throughout um, to check your... Was it your liver or was it my kidneys? Hold on. Um, I had to have continuous tests, blood tests throughout my treatment because it can affect your liver. Um, and they had to make sure that everything was functioning okay still whilst taking the medication. I wasn't on a high dosage, but I believe I started off at 10 and went to 20. Yeah, I just wanted that over and done with. And let me tell you why. The damn 
side effects. I am hot like a mother right now. Yeah, the side effects is real, people. Like, they were like, okay, the side effects is... um, your your lips will become very dry you can see a picture now your lips dry out so much you can't use normal vaseline they gave me this little um i don't have any again i was looking they gave me this little lip balm thing it's thicker than vaseline it's almost like a wax paste and they gave that to me to put on my um lips my lips were so dry they turned pink that's right. What happens? The medication dries out your body so much that it must be that you're going to dead. I mean, I know what. But anyway, no, it dries out your body so much. You then go for black people. They go very, very, very dark. I believe for white people, they go very, very, very red. That's what I was told. But black people, we go very dark to the point. I started my medication on the 5th of December. By the time it was the 25th of December, Christmas Day, walked into the family's house and my lovely grandmother, Mm -hmm. if you felt bad, don't go around my grandma, self note, you know, walked into the room a few seconds and she was like, weird, Lily, how come you're so black? What? And I was like, I was like, you know, didn't really want to tell people my business, but since you asked in such a public forum, I'm gonna tell you, girl. Um, But yeah, you get very dark. It's not what I was used to. I had these pink lips and this black, black face. Yeah, it just wasn't a pretty look. Um, I I learned to disguise it with my makeup over time. So till even the nurse was like, girl, you look good. What you using? I went to town with the makeup. But um, it was a very hard journey to go through that. The other side effect is um, aching of joints. That's fine. I got through that. I lived through that. That was fine. Um, it It did stop me from doing a couple of things, especially when I was working out. But the worst side effect of them all is um, being depressed and having really, really, really suicidal thoughts. It's in the booklets that they give you and they explain that this is a major side effect. Not everybody has it, but you can have it. Uh, Everybody that I know who, I mean, it's not a lot of people who've been on this medication had it and I certainly had it. Now, I didn't have suicidal thoughts where I literally wanted to hurt myself. Disclose out there in case, oh, you're thinking, but I I got into very dark places with with regards to my life. I don't know what's in those tablets. I took two a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, But yeah, you, it's real. And I would say to anybody who's going to embark on this treatment or, who, you know, who's thinking about it, make sure you are not alone. Meaning, make sure you have somebody that you can talk to because you, the likelihood of you feeling and having these emotions is real. As I said, I didn't actually think I'm going to hurt myself or end my life, but I did have those, those thoughts and those feelings. And that is the medication. I never used to have those thoughts. So, and I was like, because they would tell you, and every time you went there, they'd ask you, but I was too scared to kind of say, but I said, you know, I have felt a little down, but not gone into it because I was thinking, you know, I'm a mum. I don't want no one to be thinking, girl, she having suicidal thoughts. Let me come take her, pick me them away from her. You know what I mean? So I didn't really want to disclose that information too, too tough, but it is a thing and it's something that you go through. And I, as I said, I was only on the medication for six months. I was fortunate. They say another side, well, it's not a side effect, it's as you go through, the spots will become worse. The acne will become, will become worse within the first four to eight weeks of you taking it. And it did. And I was like, this is not going to work. I'm that my skin is literally so dry. My face is so dark. Um, my lips, my lips were so painful. It my, I never blistered, but they were so dry. It was, it became painful, you know, but literally month three, spots cleared month four spot free for two months
month six, I had been spot free, yeah, since month three, yeah, so for three months, I'd been spot free, not one, not even a period spot, you can still get period spots, by the way, nothing, and I was like, I'm done, <laughs> I'm ready to come off this ish, you know? and the doctor that I saw on my last, second to last visit, she was like, oh no, you need to be on this for at least 16 months, I was like, Hell no. Um, I said to her, honey, no, honey, read my file. I do not need to be on this for six. You got it. Listen, just because your name doctor don't mean you know where you are talking about. my medication after six months. And I can say it has been, um, it has been a year and three months. So um, it's been about 15, nearly 16 months. Yeah. It's been like 15 months, but obviously we're going into the, ne into the month of September. Um, I've had four spots in more or less 16 months. Four. Would I do it again? <laughs> Maybe, but I'd have to hibernate somewhere, you know. Quarantine, would, I guess, would be the right time to do it, but it's definitely worth it. So, yes. Um, I have been given this. Um, which is Epiduo. I don't know if you can see this well. I don't know if you can. Um, probably not. I'll put it in the description below. But it's Epiduo. I was given this by my doctor. Um, they say to put it on. No, I was given it by the the um, the doctor in the hospital, and they say squirt a bit out, and um, you've just got a little thing that you can squirt with and pull it on the spot and leave it and it will dry up instantly like probably overnight um and I do that I did that on the spots that I had and they went like literally I love this um and I've had this for a long time I should really check like when I need to get rid of this because clearly at some point this should have an end date right mm. but yeah this is really really good I don't know if it works as well before you have the treatment, but it definitely works after. Um, also, my lovely nurse, um, she was a Trinidadian. She was a Trini. She come from Trinidad. Yeah, she was like, girl, get yourself some Neutrogena face wash. I didn't know which one she meant, so I got both. Like, this is, like, more or less finished. But I live and swear by these. Yes. I do. I wash my face with both of them. She was like, it will get rid of, give it time. She was like, give it time. <laughs> I can't do her accent. But she was like, it will get rid of the dark marks because the medication doesn't do that. And I started using this as I was using a medication. So literally it cleared the same time the spots cleared and I have not looked back and I have not used anything else. So for... Um, Near enough two years, I've been using, am I, is this, yeah, I've been using this, especially when I have makeup on. I mean, I use this, this is like a scrub, an exfoliating scrub. I use this to, especially to wash off the makeup because it's a bit thicker. Um, and even as a first wash, even if I don't have makeup on every morning and every night, is that excessive? But anyway, I do, I use this and then I just use the normal face wash. This is like, you could tell like, I'll be caning this. This will not finish by the time I get another one. Put it that way. Um, but I use the both. Now, I'm not here advertising Neutrogena because I'm getting paid. I I'm not, as you can see, like, I'm, I'm not. My page ain't even monetized yet, girl. I ain't getting paid for this. I'ma just tell you how it is. This is what I use. This is about, okay, in your normal supermarkets, these are about four pounds each. But if you go to um, Savers and sometimes Superdrug, now their stores that are here in the UK, I don't know, I believe like maybe Walmart, possibly in the US and other stores may have these. But um, here it's like, in Savers it's like two pounds something, two pounds. I think I paid like two pound 29 for this. Uh, I know in, um, in Superdrug, they're like two, three pound something. This is what I use. I do cleanse my face as well um and instantly like once my face dries I don't use nothing to dry my face to use to dry my face I let my face air dry and then I use a, a cleanser and I cleanse my face and I do use a light simple 
the simple brand um moisturizer i haven't bought my moist my moisturizer to show you because I'm not 100% in love with the moisturizer, but I use it because I know it doesn't affect my face in any other way. So I'm not gonna really like be promoting that. But these have definitely worked. I have no scarring as you can see. And yeah, it keeps my face fresh. Fresh face. So yes, guys, that's been my journey. I have been on a long ass journey with my skin and I'm so proud that, you know, to say that I am spot free and I have been so for Are you one of those year. people that's like, I want to do it naturally because I did do it naturally and nothing natural worked. I hammered YouTube as well, looking at natural remedies, tried it all. Lime, lemon, potatoes, um, like brown sugar and, all these other, there was other things, aloe vera, loads of things I tried and it just didn't work for me. It just didn't work out. So I felt this was my only option. Okay, so yeah, let me know what you think. Put your comments down below and please give this a thumbs up, like and subscribe, please share. Until the next video, thank you for watching and until the next video, I see you and you'll see me real soon. Take care. Bye.